if you allow things to go unconfronted or unaddressed, they can become worse. Very few things get better by doing nothing, <laughs> if any. In fact, I can't think of one that gets better by doing nothing. And so the, the word confront or confrontation often has a negative connotation to it. I don't see it as negative at all. I think one of the kindest and most responsible things that you can do is to care enough about a person that you will bring to their attention something that is potentially harmful for them. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. And so in my case, um, you know, this new manager came in, as I gave the example, and he said to me, basically, you're the person who's provided the least value on the team. That was a complete shock to me because my previous performance reviews never said anything about me having poor performance. I had been promoted a year before that, but something clearly was going on, some talk maybe behind the scenes that never made its way to me. Mm -hmm. So I was going along thinking that I was fine. Clearly I was not. That was not helpful. If someone had confronted me sooner or brought to my attention something that was maybe off, I could have corrected that potentially. Right. Assuming that there was. Assuming you're, you're, that you're, there was. You're being very diplomatic. I'm not. <laughs> I think for someone to just jump in and assume that you were the poorest performer might be a little misguided. But let's just assume that there was something going on. What you're saying is no one was really taking action to let you know that something was going on, which is not really fair to you. And it's That's wouldn't right. be fair to any of our team members, right? If we're. So if there's something we're concerned about, you're saying we just need to bring it up as soon as possible, right? Bring it up as soon as possible. And the key is to do that in a way that is productive. And what makes it productive is focusing on the behavior that has been observed and how that differs from what is the acceptable or expected norm. So comparing the behavior to the standard and giving very specific guidance on how to bring those more in line with each other so that you keep the person intact because it really is not about the person it's you know it's very different to say lisa you're the person who adds the least value on my team that's one thing another thing would be to say lisa our expectation is that you produce this level of work your work has been below that and here's what it would take to bring you up to standard mm. That sounds like a significantly easier message to palette. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think there's something about, you know, as soon as, as soon as it be, we use you words, you know, we start, there's just this ego conflict that starts arising. Right. So it sounds like you're suggesting to keep things extremely objective. Yes, absolutely. It's objective. It's based on what's the standard what is acceptable, what's been the communicated guideline, and where's the gap. Mm, and then providing tangible, actionable feedback on that. 